Hello everyone and welcome back to the Crafty Room for another video. My name is Dee and if this is your first time stopping by, I will let you know that here in the Crafty Room I do love to do my crafts but I also love to do toy unboxings and other fun things sprinkled in between. If that sounds good to you then stick around and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any future uploads. Okay, today in the Crafty Room I have something a little different again, <laughs> and it is something again from AliExpress, which is overseas, an overseas website where you can get things sometimes at a really good price, but sometimes hmm, are we sacrificing quality for the price? Who knows? Now here we have something. <laughs> it does look like Pokemon, does it not? It does. It sure does. But it has Pet Elf written on it instead. I guess it's avoiding copyright problems or issues. I'm not sure. Either way, we have all these Pokeballs inside with, I'm going to guess, a character inside to unpack today. So if that looks like a good plan to you, as it does to me, then stick around because let's see what we unpack today. Let's go do that right now. All right, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, it looks like it is actually a display box. So I guess where you could, as a business owner, you know, display this up and I guess sell these balls individually. Um, as for price, I'm not sure if I can find it uh, still in, cause I get, well, actually I get my husband. I don't really get him to, but I kind of get him to. Um, he also enjoys doing this, so he searches out these kinds of uh, toys and that from uh, all over the place. And this is what he found for me amongst other many, many things. And yeah, so uh, I need to check with him if he can find the price. I don't think he could, that is why I don't have it. But if I can't find it, uh, then I will put it up on the screen for you. And if I you don't see anything on the screen now, then that means it is sold out or we couldn't find it. So usually these things though, he does try to get free shipping. It normally is around a $15 Canadian kind of purchasing price. So nothing too expensive. We want to see what we get for kind of a decent price and you know, see some fun things. So let's get into it. Here's our 12 balls. And we're just going to go ahead and start. I don't know. We'll start with the top left. This one. I'm going to assume, of course, that we are going to put these other ones out of the way for now. That we, I assume, bleh, let's start that again. <laughs> I assume that there will be a little character, a little Pokemon inside this, or all of the balls, really. Sorry, my, the box started to shine on its own. It was kind of like, hey, ghosty vibes. So, <laughs> but yeah, so... Let's see what the quality is. Now, I do have another Pokemon video um, up that is, well, I have a sticker one, how to make Pokemon stickers with uh, diamond painting. And also I have another one that is kind of like an advent calendar vibe with little figurines in it. So make sure you check out uh, my other videos and watch those ones. See uh, what I got and how that all worked out. Okay, let's see how we open this. I don't want to ruin these. Are you turnable? Yeah, okay. So let's see who we get inside, guys. Oh, look. We have our little Pokemon and something else in there, but we'll first look at our Pokemon. Okay, there he is. Now this, this is a kind of a, a it's a very light plastic kind of vibe or to it or feel. Um, kind of bendy in spots. You can see they're not very clean cuts with the little uh, extended pieces here. The paint job, it's okay, but it's cute. Again, if it is around the price that I am telling you, then I mean for a little one or for something fun to do, then it, it's worth it possibly to you. I guess it just depends on your, your uh, your price point for that kind of fun. Okay, so it looks like we have two other things in here. Are they stickers? They look like stickers. We have this one and we have this guy. 
Now, I do not know all the Pokemon's names. I never claim I do. I never claim, uh, ever will claim that I do. So if I do find the names of them and I will desperately try or get some help <laughs> from my kids who have grown up with Pokemon and of course, therefore, I have gotten fond of them as well through the years of watching them enjoy Pokemon games, videos, all that sort of thing. And yeah, I have played even a few Pokemon games myself from start to end. So we have these stickers. I am pretty sure this is Jigglypuff. I mean, some of the common ones that are super common, well, even I know. <laughs> so we'll put our little friend back in his bowl, keep our little stickers together, and that's our first one. So far, I'm finding it to be very similar in quality as to the so kind of advent calendar I opened. Okay, second one. Let's see, who do we have in this one? Oh, wow, look at you. Pour him out. Look at the chops on him. <laughs> That's crazy. I like him though. Very cute. Okay, and we get our two stickers, which I think is really sweet. I mean, who doesn't like a good sticker? No, I do. And again, I'm looking at this not as a collectible or a serious, you know, Pokemon, you know, uh, oh, I'm not can't even think of the name of what I'm trying to say, but basically it's just for fun. It's just for probably some younger Pokemon fans out there. So for fun, let's open another one. Who do we have inside? Oh, wow. Okay, we have... Oh, dropped him. Sorry. Okay, we'll bring him back. He is back. Okay, we have this guy. And, of course, I do not know the name. A lot of these are, like, my, pretty much all of these Pokemon that I deal with with these figurines are familiar to me for sure. I just am not good with names. And then we have our two stickers if I can separate them. Here you go. Oh, these ones are sort of stuck together. Very cute. And they have numbers on them. I'm not sure if that is to mean anything to us. But you know, this is okay. These are almost like little, um, I could really see this being in like a gumball machine in a shopping store, grocery store kind of thing. You know how they have those vending machines where you stick like a, uh, well, for me in Canada, it would be like a quarter or a loony or something like that, and out would come your toy. That is exactly the vibe I'm getting with these Pokeballs. All right, let's get our fourth Pokeball. And let's see who we have inside here. Whoops. Are you going to be tough? Nope, here we got it. Oh, okay. Another one I recognize. Again... Like the advent calendar, the paint job is just so-so, you know? But if you have, you know, uh, an artistic kind of notion to you and you are wanting to maybe touch up the paint yourself, then this would be a really good project for you. Okay, and we will look at our stickers. Okay, there they are. Pretty cute, pretty cute indeed. I so want to try saying the names of who I think these are, but I know I will get it wrong nine times out of 10, if not more somehow. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna try guys. I'm not even gonna try. Okay, so this is our fifth Pokeball. And we have, oh, aren't you cute? Again, one I recognize, Hey, there's an egg version of this, I think. I recognize these symbols. Yeah. Very cute. I actually really like the face on this one. He looks so innocent and sweet. Or she. Ah, oh, I really like this. Little wings. Yeah, I don't know. So far, this is one of my favorites. And our stickers. There you go. Very cute. Okay, 
There we go. And we are on to our sixth one. Bonus points if you can name these types of balls down in the comments below. And maybe, maybe, in a, you know, I will do a little giveaway to someone who can name all of them. Oh, actually, that's not true. I can't have you name all of them because it's easy to look them up. But you know, I do love to do giveaways because I don't usually keep everything myself. I mean, I just don't have the need for it. I just love opening them and giving them to people who do like them. And so, you know, another reason to subscribe possibly <laughs> so that you don't miss any giveaways as well. Oh, and look, this has got to be our, oh wait, I'm going to say Jigglypuff. I'm going to act confident because I have nothing to lose at this point. Cute. Very cute. Actually, I like this one too. The paint job is fine. It's cute. I mean, it looks like the character. So that's, that's a win. And we have our stickers. Let's get them straight. There you go. All right. Well, there you go. That's not too bad. I'm actually thinking so far might be even a bit better than the advent calendar but we still have a few to open so let's just see our next one and who do we have oh 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 i should know the name of this one too oh so cute i'm always remember the big tongue on this one now also let me know are the colors right for these guys? Some of them might question, but I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to get these stickers out. Oh dear, this is not going to be easy. Hang on. Okay, we got one. There's one and the other one. Okay, here we are. I think we have this one already, but cute. Fun to trade or keep. And there we go. So on to our, let's see, we are number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number eight. There's your Pokeball. Trying to open it. There we go. Oh, oh, I keep wanting to say the names. I know I should just say it, but I want to get harassed <laughs> oh, by saying the same name, the wrong name but you know this guy looks good too i don't know i think he's looking pretty all right and our stickers very cute as well i like him can't wait to find their names out and put them on the screen for you guys because i know as soon as they see the name i'm gonna be like oh my goodness of course it's that one it happens all the time and our fourth last ball. Okay. I don't, oh, I don't know which way you're supposed to go. Are you supposed to go that way? I think so. Interesting, I have no idea. No guesses on this one. That's crazy. But interesting, it's still well made and well painted. And our two stickers, whoops, upside down. There we go. Oops. And we are on to our last three, guys. This one. And we have, okay, here's an interesting Pokemon. One I'm not sure I know either. Mostly I recognize them all, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it's because I just don't know it or are the, is the coloring wrong? Our two stickers, very cute. All right, back in you go. Okay, second last one. It already kind of popped open as I'm trying to, but I don't see what's inside. But here's our ball and it popped open. So let's see. Who we have? Oh, I do remember seeing this one over the years. Very cute. I like him. 
He's a little scruffy in the face with the paintwork and the arms there too. Again, if you want a project to do and you aren't, you know, nervous about putting some paint on it, then touch it up. It'd be worth it. And our two stickers. Okay, we are on to our last one. Last ball. And here it is. Which one will we get for our last one, guys? Oh. oh I keep Okay, is this whale lore? I don't know. Is that wrong? Don't be too harsh on me, guys. <laughs> but not bad. Not bad. A little sheer on the bottom paint job, but cute. And I think this is horsey. I think I can confidently say that one in the sticker. Oh, and is that shell door? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm not thinking it's cloister, but either way, I, you know what? I threw out a couple of tries there at the end, so don't don't roast me too hard. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's it. That was a lot of fun. I sure hope you liked this video. If you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below. Even just come say hi in the comments below. I'd love to welcome you personally to the channel. And yeah, thanks so much. And until I see you next time, please take care of yourselves. Stay crafty and have a fabulous, wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye.